keep saying they proud of me, but I don't even know them like that. I'ma drive like I started. She do it like she owe me. Yo, hello. It's Revy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the 3D CRT text you guys saw in the beginning. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website. Feel free to check that out. I have some editing packs there that could uh, benefit you in your editing. Just a quick note, I'm in the military now, guys. So that's why there's not a lot of uploads currently. But uh, I hope you guys uh, still enjoy the tutorials. Let's get right into this <laughs> okay so the first thing we're going to do is to make a new composition and uh, the composition settings i will be using here is going to be a crt resolution format basically so the width is going to be 720 and the height is going to be 480 and you can change the frame rate to 15 that will later on look a lot better. So I get something like this and you can start by adding a text here, boom. And here just type whatever you want the text to say. And when you're done with that, you can hide it and then make a solid layer, uh, which I've already done here. You just right click, press new and then solid. And then you make one. And here we're going to add element 3D to it, just like that. And you're going to go into custom layers, custom text and masks, and then choose your CRT text you just made and then you're going to open up scene setup and here you're going to press extrude to get the text out and you're going to increase the bevel scale here to six it becomes a little bit thicker the text here you can adjust how, however you guys want we are going to go to presets materials physical and then choose chrome here to get a nice reflection on the text here then press ok so now you have your text here and we're going to change some settings here. So we're going to open up group one, particle replicator, rotation, and then particle look. You can open that, open that one as well. And we're going to start off by keyframe the Y rotation. So you're going to press the clock here in the beginning and then go six seconds forward and then go two whole laps here, just like that. So it looks something like this now. And I think the scale now looks pretty good. But uh, we might have to change that later on, depending on how the effects uh, change the scale. You can close down group 1 for the moment and then open up render settings. And here, go to ambient occlusion, enable AO, increase the SSAO intensity to 50. And the SSAO sample is going to be 64, just like that. And now we're going to add a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to add Omino Diffusion. And it looks something like this here. What I'm going to do is to change the width 1 here to 8. So you get something like this. And after that I'm going to add two CCs now from my CC pack, color correction pack. And uh, yeah, adjustment layer, control alt y And here I'm going to add the pack CC3. And it's going to look something like this now. Looks okay. But we're going to add a, another CC again. So you're going to press control alt y and here I'm going to add the pack CC eighths from the CC pack. And the only thing you have to do with that CC is to make the motion tile invisible. So now your text will look something like this here. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. And then we're going to make a new adjustment layer, Control alt y And here we're going to add JPEG damage. And I'm going to set the quality to 0 0.05. And then the rest relax to 2. And the error rate to... 0.25 and that should be good so now you get this kind of uh, glitchy text here looks very cool for the crt effect you're going to add the adjustment layer control alt y and here you're going to add your crt preset and if you don't have this preset here i made a full tutorial on how to make the crt uh, effect so go watch that first it will be linked in the description if you're not satisfied with the scale here, you can go back to your uh, Element 3D, go back to Group 1, increase the particle size. I think this looks good. Particle size 11, uh, set position minus 50. Pretty, pretty clean. Precompose all of the layers here. And then here, just increase the scale to 115%. But it looks pretty, pretty cool. And as always, you can go in, adjust some settings if you don't like uh, the look you guys see now and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial as well uh, please like and subscribe 
If you have any new ideas on tutorials I could make, please comment that down below. Not sure if I could uh, make those ideas now, because I'm in the military, but uh, I still want to hear what you guys want, want me to make. Uh, and uh, yeah, check out my website, join my Discord server, don't forget to check out my socials, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.